Okay, so um, here's a quick video tutorial on how to do the ImageJ uh, measurements for uh, root length, hypocaudal. That's about all I'm going to go over. <clears throat> so first what we need to do is we need to set the proper scale. Um, so when everyone does their measurements, I prefer if everyone did them in centimeters. So what you do, um, <clears throat> first you have ImageJ opened, and then you can um, either through the file menu on ImageJ open your plate image, or you can just drag and drop it right into ImageJ. And there, it's popped open right there. So what you want to do first is if you use this straight line tool, we can measure the distance of a centimeter in pixels. So that's approximately one centimeter. And if I hit Command M or I guess Control M on PC, this results window will pop up and it gives us a some sort of length measurement. <clears throat> so in order to set the scale, if we find Analyze, Set Scale, <clears throat> so that's the distance in pixels. We know the known distance is actually 1 for 1 centimeter. Leave the pixel aspect ratio, change this to centimeter, and hit OK. Now if I hit Command M again, we should have a length of 1 centimeter. So that's good. <clears throat> So now, if I wanted to measure the length of this root or hypocaudal, I would recommend using the freehand tool. So you can go to the straight line segment, right click, use the freehand line tool, and you can also um, zoom in the image to make it a little easier to work with. So if I want to measure the length of this root, or pretend it's a hypocaudal. Just click and drag the line over the length of the root. Hit Command or Control M, and that'll give us the length. So that's for one root. Here's another root. Command M. Yada yada. Easy. <clears throat> okay. And for next week, you'll be um, checking the angle of growth for the gravitropism and phototropic mutants. So to do that, you use this angle tool next to the freehand tool. So if I wanted to test the angle of this, whatever, this root and shoot angle, I click first at one end of the thing, click first, click again where you want the point of the angle to be, and then click one third time, and you should have some kind of angle here. And if you hit Command or Control M, it'll actually give you what the angle is. So, if, another example, if I want to try here, Control Command M, and we're given the angles. So, basically, to use this, click once, click again, click third time, Command M, and that's all she wrote. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. Sayonara.